despite Singaporeans having differing views on lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender and queer LGBTQ matters, Dr. Janel Putuchiri has urged young people who are LGBTQ to remain in Singapore and to stand up for what you believe in. The Senior Minister of State for Communications and Information and for Health was responding to a question posed by Ping.SG spokesperson Clement Tan at the Youth Team Singapore Perspectives 2024 conference on Monday, January 29th. Held by the Institute of Policy Studies IPS at the SANS Expo and Convention Centre. Mr. Tan had asked Dr. Putuchiri what his message was to Singapore's LGBTQ youth who do not believe that there is a future for them here because of certain barriers to inclusion, which include home ownership and family formation. My message is stay, fight, stand up for what you believe in, in a way that brings inclusion, brings every Singaporean with you on that journey, and to make our society better for your community. Dr. Putuchiri said. He acknowledged that not all Singaporeans agree on what a better society entails, but he said that the country does need to have discourse and engagement about how we move forward. If you leave, you take your ideas and your views with you. That's not going to help your cause, he added. In posing his question to Dr. Putuchiri, Mr. Tang had mentioned a personal anecdote where his mother had counselled him that he needed to emigrate from Singapore in order to have a happy future. Dr. Putuchiri referred to that anecdote in his response. When your mum pulled you aside and told you that neither you nor her, nor me nor many other people would imagine that last year, we would have repealed Section 377A of the Penal Code. Our society changes just as our aspirations change. Our view on how we might deal with people in society who have different views from us will also change. If you want to make a difference, leaving is not going to help you, he said, adding that Mr. Tan and the Pink Dot community had successfully spoken up about LGBTQ issues. The hour-long dialogue. Moderated by IPS, Senior Research Fellow Kalpana Vignisa, came at the end of three IPS panel discussions on Monday that tackled youth perspectives on work, family, and politics. The dialogue was supposed to be attended by Minister for National Development Desmond Lee, who was absent due to illness. In an earlier panel discussion on youth and family moderated by IPS, Senior Research Fellow Tan Po Lin. Some panelists said that Singapore can be more flexible in defining family, as the population ages and households shrink. Assistant Professor Shannon Ong, who is a sociology lecturer at Nanyang Technological University said, we can expand the idea of a family both in terms of our assumptions of who lives together and who constitutes a family, whether it's single parents, companions, same-sex couples and friends even. Families for Life's council member Yuvan Mohan said that establishing a stronger community of care beyond family ties is needed since the average resident household has decreased in size over the decades, resulting in an increased level of responsibility for each individual. In addition, Assistant Professor Ong said, families are intricately linked to inequality. Families with more resources can pass on their privileges and they can navigate challenges easier than those without. This means that relying on the traditional family unit for care responsibilities results in some people getting left out and having to bear greater burdens. An expanded idea of the family would allow the risks and resources families have to be better pulled together. He added. In contrast to the ideal of a small nuclear family, which keeps individuals trapped and curved inwards, a broader definition of the family that can even include friends would help in sharing the load. Assistant Professor Ong cited an example of a case in South Korea where an older person adopted her best friend so that they would be eligible to sign medical forms for each other. In other countries, friendships are becoming more important for older adults. 
As older people have fewer children, they rely on their friends to fulfill their needs, he said.